Are you new to homesteading? Are you thinking about how to be more self-reliant? Interested in how to raise animals? How to grow your own food? Or how to preserve food? Do you like the outdoors? Do you like pets? Do you like animals? Then welcome to Ranger Rob Country Living. Join Sherry and Rob as we learn new things, new equipment, and new techniques. Sometimes we have great fails and great success. But most of all, we're trying. So hit that subscribe button and let's get started. Hello everyone, this is Ranger Rob from the Ranger Rob Country Living channel. And today, since I'm uh, trying to get my Dutch bucket system going, get to thinking, I really need to get something growing so I can put it in there. Now I got a little ways to go, but I just got in some of my fiber and uh, planters. So I wanted to grow some tomatoes this year that are called jet stars so I have some so I'm gonna go ahead and put one seed in each one of these and get them under the uh, uh, grow lamps and get them started uh, so in a few weeks I'll be ready to uh, plant the uh, Dutch, buck <laughs> Dutch buckets so let me uh, find my seeds and let's get some of these put in here another thing I was going to show you really quick is this is what we use for our seeds. Um, each one is alphabetized <laughs> per my wife. And so uh, I just got to go in here, find my tomatoes, and uh, start getting these planted. All right, so I got my seeds. Those are the smallest darn things. So I heard a little trick is to take a little uh, toothpick and a little bit of water at the tip. And it's like magnetic and actually put each seed in by itself. So Let's see how well that works. So that actually works really well. Um, I'm going to do most of these with the Jet Star. And then the last two rows I'm going to do what's called jet setters. And uh, I heard they were really good tomatoes. And um, we'll see how how well they do this year. Well, I got these uh, under the heat lamp. Well, under under the growing lamps on a heating pad right there. And uh, we'll keep an eye on them and see how they're doing. So glad to get those finally planted. And I did get my washers and got the rest of my brackets installed and that's probably as far as I'm going to get on the greenhouse today I think <laughs> but I always have plenty of other things to do well I'm really glad I got some seeds started and I got a, my little brackets done today but I didn't accomplish a whole lot today and then it kind of occurred to me got later in the day fed the dogs this is Good Friday, and I need to stop for a minute. Maybe you all need to stop for a minute and uh, realize what a wonderful day this is. And uh, an Easter and a whole works. And uh, because in the Old Testament days, <laughs> I don't think many of us would, would have done very well. And thank goodness there's a new covenant. Um, and we just do the best we can. We mess up. We let, let them know we messed up. Start again. And uh, you'll always be righteous. Uh, and a very special life after this life is, is waiting for us. So I guess it really comes down to also being grateful. Uh, Sometimes you get working on your projects, and uh, that's one thing on the homesteading is like, gosh, you just get going on projects and projects and projects and trying to do better and trying to grow things, and you forget to smell the roses, to be grateful. So every once in a while, I got to sit at this park bench in front of my pond over here and just soak it in and say, you know, maybe I don't have to work my butt off today, get a few things done. Make sure my puppies are happy. My wife gets home tonight. Take her down to uh, 
a place called the Tap House and uh, uh, go get some tacos and maybe have a beer and talk about what we want to do this weekend, which you guys will see on the videos. And uh, enjoy one another because we get going with all the work and all our projects and we hardly even, I don't know, be grateful for each other. As we get older, you know, each day is a blessing. And I guess that's another message I want to pass is each day is a, mess a blessing. You wake up in the morning, you go, darn, you, you gave me another day. And then to be grateful for what you got, whether you got five acres or whether you got a little apartment or living in an RV, be grateful you got that. There's folks that don't even have that. Be grateful that we're able to feed ourselves. Uh, we do know things are going to get tougher. And that's when the tough get going, right? <laughs> so this is not a channel to say, feel sorry for yourself. This is not a channel to uh, complain about politics and stuff, even though I could. Um, it's about being proactive and self-reliant and not let things like that affect you so badly that you can't function. And so that's what this homesteading, all this stuff is about, is being self-reliant, uh, taking action for yourself, being responsible for yourself. Um, that's how it should be. Uh, the world of you owe me this, you owe me that, give me stuff for free, that ain't going to cut it. And yeah, I might be old school, baby boomer kind of thing. Um, I realize that. Um, but I think, hey, at least some of us are recording our thoughts and, and what our um, morals and ethics were, are and hard work. Because um, someday that generation we call the snowflakes <laughs> are going to look back and go, oh, I guess <laughs> you know, when we don't have electricity or we can't play video games, you realize you have to do some hard work and stuff. Uh, it's going to be a little shocking. <laughs> but you can't play this game of ignoring the world, hiding in your room and uh, sitting around watching TV and playing video games. Um, it's not productive. It's not it's not socially good. It's not good for the family. Um, shut that stuff off. Cook a nice dinner. Sit at the dining room table together. Pray to God and be grateful. And I really hope everybody recognizes what this weekend's all about. It's not about the Easter Bunny, even though it's fun. Hey, just get chickens. I have Easter here every day. I go Easter egg hunting every single day here. But uh, Good Friday only comes once a year. And understand that uh, this weekend represents freedom and love and uh, righteousness and a gift of the Holy Spirit that we can all embrace and forgiveness and the chance to uh, um, once we get past these physical lives to live something we can't even comprehend and uh, we're going to be tested and uh, it's going to be tough just got to keep the faith remember what this day was all about and uh, we'll all be good. So guys, I, I maybe I got too deep for you a little bit there. I'm sorry. Um, but homesteading is so much of family, community, working hard, um, being self-reliant, being accountable for yourself as much as possible. And I really think that's what God wants us to do. Whether you can do it in a small scale or large scale, you just do the best you can and be grateful for what you have. So guys, have a great weekend and thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos, you know, all over the whole wide world. That really, really helps us out. It really does. Share our videos and hit the like button and leave in a comment. Say hi. Um, tell me what you guys are doing. Do you just like watching the channel for what we do? Or you're watching the channel because you're thinking about homesteading. Um, yeah, love to hear from you. So guys, talk to you later. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. 
available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.